Hi viewers, here we have our ES55 series direct acting, normally closed solenoid valve. It's got a 304 stainless steel body and IP65 weatherproof DIN plug and coil. Now this valve here has got a Viton seat in it and it's direct acting so really it does a wide range of applications. Um, everything from low pressure applications like tank drain, um, we'll do mains water, we'll do so since it's fertilizers, anything that's compatible with Viton and stainless steel, really this valve will handle. It's got a few different orifice sizes too, so it does quite a wide pressure range. Just the smaller the off orifice, the higher the pressure range. It uh, comes in quarter inch and one eighth ports. When you're installing it here, it's important to note the P to A. So P is your pressure, A is advance. Uh, it must be installed in that direction of flow. Now I'll take it apart just to show you how it works. Obviously the DIN plug can just pull off the coil. And when you wire it up you need the appropriate cable gland into there. Just take this top nut off. And that allows the coil to pull off. Now you're left with the body of the valve and the operator stem. To get this apart, you will see there is two flats on the side of the operator. Uh, a spanner goes on there. I've cracked this one already just to save time. So I'll just take it apart with my hand. Now, in the body here, you can see two holes. One is the inlet hole, this is on the inlet side, the pressure comes up, and this jet here is where the bottom of the armature sits to seal. Now, it's held, the armature is held closed by a spring on this seat, so it's a normally closed valve. To open, the power is applied, the armature is pulled up by electromagnetic force. Now, this hole is open here, so flow will pass through. Come up, over, and down, and out. Take power off, this will seat back on the jet and you can't get flow through. So if we have a look at the operator and armature assembly, if we slide this out, you'll see inside that operator tube is now empty. It's got a copper shading ring at the top, that's for DC applications. And you will see a spring on the top end and the Viton boot on the bottom of the operator. Now, why is that spring in there? Well, that spring in there is to hold the armature down on that seat to seal the valve. Maintaining this valve, real, really it's quite simple. Just make sure that these, the inlet and the bleed hole are clear and that there's nothing up in your operator apart from the armature and spring. The spring comes out. And you put it back, the spring in first, spring it up into the operator, and simply line that up with the jet and screw it closed. You will notice on here there is also a Viton sealing o ring. This o ring helps the operator seal onto the body of the valve. Screw it back on, spanner tighten, and then place your coil back on.